Yashar Jasher 80. And at the end of two years, Yahuwah again sent Moshe to Pharaoh to bring forth the children of Yashar El and to send them out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe went and came to the house of Pharaoh and he spoke to him the words of Yahuwah who had sent him. But Pharaoh would not hearken to the voice of Yahuwah. And Elohim roused his might in Mitzrayim upon Pharaoh and his subjects. And Elohim smote Pharaoh and his people with very great and sore plagues, with all their streams and rivers. And when a Mitzri came to drink and draw water, he looked into his pitcher, and behold, all the water was turned into blood. And when he came to drink from his cup, the water in the cup became blood. And when a woman kneaded her dough and cooked her victuals, their appearance was turned to that of blood. And Yahuwah sent again and caused all their waters to bring forth frogs. And all the frogs came into the houses of the Mitzrim. And when the Mitzrim drank, their bellies were filled with frogs, and they danced in their bellies as they danced when in the river. And all their drinking water and cooking water turned to frogs. Also, when they lay in their beds, their perspiration bred frogs. Notwithstanding all this, the anger of Yahuwah did not turn from them, and his hand was stretched out against all the Mitzrim to smite them with every heavy plague. And he sent and smote their dust to lice, and the lice became in Mitzrayim to the height of two cubits upon the earth. The lice were also very numerous, in the flesh of man and beast, in all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim, also upon the king and queen, Yahuwah sent the lice, and it grieved Mitzrayim exceedingly on account of the lice. Notwithstanding this, the anger of Yahuwah did not turn away, and his hand was still stretched out, over Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah sent all kinds of beasts of the field into Mitzrayim. And they came and destroyed all Mitzrayim, man and beasts, rather beast and trees, and all things that were in Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah sent fiery serpents, scorpions, mice, weasels, toads, together with other creeping in, others creeping in dust, flies, hornets, fleas, bugs, and gnats, each swarm according to its kind. And all reptiles and winged animals, according to their kind, came to Mitzrayim and grieved the Mitzrayim exceedingly. And the fleas and flies came into the eyes and ears of the Mitzrayim. And the hornet came upon them and drove them away. And they removed from it into their inner rooms, and it pursued them. And when the Mitzrim hid themselves on account of the swarm of animals, they locked their doors after them, and Elohim ordered 
the Sulonut, which was in the sea, to come up and go into Mitzrayim. And she had long arms, ten cubits in length of the cubit of a man. And she went upon the roofs and uncovered the raftering and flooring and cut them and stretched forth her arm into the house and removed the lock and the bolt and opened the houses of Mitzrayim. Afterward came the swarm of animals into the houses of Mitzrayim. And the swarm of animals destroyed the Mitzrim, and it grieved them exceedingly. Notwithstanding this, the anger of Yahuwah did not turn away from the Mitzrim, and his hand was yet stretched forth against them. And Elohim sent the pestilence, and the pestilence pervaded Mitzrayim in the horses and asses and in the camels, in the herds of oxen and sheep and in man. And when the Mitzrayim rose up early in the morning to take their cattle to pasture, they found all their cattle dead. And there remained of the cattle of the Mitzrim only one in ten. And of the cattle belonging to Yasharael in Goshen, not one died. And Elohim sent a burning inflammation in the skin of the Mitzrim, which burst their skins, and it became a severe itch in all the Mitzrim, from the soles of their feet to the crowns of their heads. And many boils were in their flesh, that their flesh wasted away until they became rotten and putrid. Notwithstanding this, the anger of Yahuwah did not turn away and his hand was still stretched out over all Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah sent a very heavy hail, which smote their vines and broke their fruit trees and dried them up, that they fell upon them. Also, every green herb became dry and perished, for a mingling fire descended amidst the hail. Therefore the hail and the fire consumed all things. Also men and beasts that were found abroad perished of the flames of fire and of the hail. And all the young lions were exhausted. And Yahuwah sent and brought numerous locusts into Mitzrayim. The Chazel Shalom, Shagal, and Shagol, locusts, each of its kind, which devoured all that the hail had left remaining. Then the Mitzrim rejoiced at the locusts, although they consumed the produce of the field, and they caught them in abundance and salted them for food. And Yahuwah turned a mighty wind of the sea, which took away all the locusts, even those that were salted, and thrust them into the Red Sea. Not one locust remained within the boundaries of Mitzrayim. And Elohim sent darkness upon Mitzrayim, that the whole land of Mitzrayim and Pathrak became dark for three days so that a man could not see his hand when he lifted it to his mouth. At that time, 
died many of the people of Yashara'el who had rebelled against Yahuwah and who would not hearken to Moshe and Aharon and believed not in them that Elohim had sent them and who had said, We will not go forth from Mitzrayim, lest we perish with hunger in a desolate wilderness, and who would not hearken to the voice of Moshe. And Yahuwah plagued them in the three days of darkness, and Yashara'el buried them in those days, without the Mitzrim knowing of them or rejoicing over them. And the darkness was very great in Mitzrayim for three days. And any person who was standing when the darkness came remained standing in his place. And he that was sitting remained sitting. And he that was lying continued lying in the same state and he that was walking remained sitting upon the ground in the same spot. And this thing happened to all the Mitzrim until the darkness had passed away. And the days of darkness passed away, and Yahuwah sent Moshe and Ahran to the children of Yashar El, saying, Celebrate your feast. And make your pichach. For behold, I come in the midst of the night amongst all the Mitzrim. And I will smite all their firstborn from the firstborn of a man to the firstborn of a beast. And when I see your pichach, I will pass over you. And the children of Yashara'el did according to all that Yahuwah had commanded Moshe and Aharon. Thus did they in that night. And it came to pass in the middle of the night that Yahuwah went forth in the midst of Mitzrayim and smote all the firstborn of the Mitzrayim from the firstborn of man to the firstborn of beast. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants, and all the Mitzrim. And there was a great cry throughout Mitzrayim in that night, for there was not a house in which there was not a corpse. Also the likenesses of the firstborn of Mitzrayim, which were carved in the walls at their houses, were destroyed and fell to the ground. even the bones of their firstborn who had died before this and whom they had buried in their houses were raked up by the dogs of Mitzrayim on that night and dragged before the Mitzrayim and cast before them. And all the Mitzrayim saw this evil which had suddenly come upon them and all the Mitzrayim cried out with a loud voice, and all the families of Mitzrayim wept upon that night, each man for his son and each man for his daughter, being the firstborn. And the tumult of Mitzrayim was heard at a distance on that night. And Bathia, the daughter of Pharaoh, went forth with the king on that night to seek Moshe, and Aharon in their houses. And they found them in their houses, eating and drinking and rejoicing with all Yashar'el. And Bathia said to Moshe, Is this the reward for the good which I have done to you, who have reared you and stretched you out, and you have brought this evil upon me and my father's house? And Moshe said to her, 
Surely ten plagues did Yahuwah bring upon Mitzrayim. Did any evil accrue to you from any of them? Did one of them affect you? And she said, No. And Moshe said to her, Although you are the firstborn to your mother, you shall not die, and no evil shall reach you in the midst of Mitzrayim. And she said, What advantage is it to me when I see the king, my brother, and all his household and subjects in this evil, whose firstborn perish with all the firstborn of Mitzrayim? And Moshe said to her, Surely your brother and his household and subjects, the families of Mitzrayim, would not hearken to the words of Yahuwah, Therefore did this evil come upon them. And Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, approached Moshe and Aharon and some of the children of Yashar'el who were with them in that place. And he prayed to them, saying, Rise up, and take your brethren, all the children of Yashar'el who are in the land, with their sheep and oxen and all belonging to them. They shall leave nothing remaining. Only pray for me to Yahuwah Eloheichem. And Moshe said to Pharaoh, Behold, though you are your mother's firstborn, yet fear not, for you will not die. For Yahuwah has commanded that you shall live in order to show you his great might and strong, stretched out arm. And Pharaoh ordered the children of Yashara'el to be sent away, and all the Mitzrim strengthened themselves to send them, for they said, We are all perishing. And all the Mitzrim sent Yashara'el forth with great riches, sheep and oxen and precious things, according to the oath of Yahuwah between him and our father, Avraham. And the children of Yashara'el delayed going forth at night. And when the Mitzrim came to them to bring them out, They said to them, Are we thieves that we should go forth at night? And the children of Yashara'el asked of the Mitzrim vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments. And the children of Yashara'el stripped the Mitzrim. And Moshe hastened and rose up and went to the river of Mitzrayim and brought up from thence the coffin of Yosef and took it with him. The children of Yashara'el also brought up each man his father's coffin with him and each man the coffins of his tribe.